now uh, with McDaniels in the fold, how does that affect the Kraft Brady Belichick meeting? That's about to be another room where it happens, Adam. I don't. I don't know how that plays out. Look, I, th- I think the bottom line to that would be Belichick's expected back. Brady's expected back. Um, I'm sure there are some ruffled feathers there. I'm sure there are some issues to work out. You heard uh, Robert Kraft say last week that you know th- that it's not been an easy year. You know, I, I don't know the the depths and specifics of what each man feels about each of those issues, and and I'll leave that to them to figure out. But Again, what, what do you think the fallout's going to be? There, I expect them all back next year, so what could it be? I know. Certain, well, and that's why I thought first blush, McDaniel staying is a way for Kraft to basically uh, say, I've got the guy in waiting uh, in that meeting, but then we hear Belichick was in the room with the Krafts and McDaniels to try and convince him to stay. I, this is amazing, man. I haven't seen anything like this. Certainly for uh, a team at the, at the pinnacle of the profession, Ballard says the rivalry's back on. And you know what everybody's saying, that this is the Flategate revenge. Do you put any anything in that? Because to me, the Patriots want McDaniels back, regardless of which organization yeah. he was walking to anyway. Look, I, I think, Rich, I think that's the best way of saying it, is that the Patriots knew that they needed Josh McDaniels, that they could have promoted Chad O'Shea to offensive coordinator, but they knew they were better off with Josh McDaniels as the offensive coordinator. Do I think that's the, the main reason that they went after him as far as it? Absolutely. But do I think in the back of their minds that Kraft and Belichick aren't snickering, okay, that they're pleased that they did that? I'm sure that that is a passing thought. And similarly, in Indianapolis, if you watch Chris Ballard, who did a great job with that press conference, was spot on in his assessment, struck just the right tone, I thought. He was very diplomatic, very cordial, very assertive, until the very last statement when he went, the rivalry is back on and walked off the stage. Now, that's the way to finish a press conference. Mike okay, uh, so I think that he's disappointed and irked that he lost his head coach at this time. The fact that it's the Patriots uh, throws a little bit of spice onto that rivalry, but I don't think that was the driving force behind what the Patriots did, nor the disappointment the Colts feel, but it's probably in the back of the minds of all the parties involved. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.